Alright, hey guys, welcome to the part two of how to make your Minecraft animation come true. Uh, I just realized I actually still have the UV image editor open, and we don't need this, so I'm just going to click this tab, and you'll see this arrow come through, and just, there you go. So now we've got this, this, uh, enlarged quite a bit, uh, which is probably a lot easier for you to see now. Um... I have actually not done the legs yet. I'll be right back. I just want to tell you guys, though, you don't want to uncheck deform on the yellow bone. You only want deform to be unchecked on the very small, smallest bones that you created. All of them, including these ones right here. So uncheck deform just now. Um, and yeah. Alright, for this next part, we're going to uh, configure the smaller bones that are just floating in midair. So, um, right click any one of these yellow bones, and, um, well, first we want to name all of these floating bones here, so just go into the single bone tab. This one's bone 15. I'm just going to name them 1 for the left arm, 2 for the right arm, 3 for the left leg, and four for the right leg. So whatever works for you. I, I just I just think this is really fast and it works for me. So uh go into the bone constraints thing. I'm actually gonna show you something. Uh select the pull target armature and then find the bone that complies with it. So since I'm on the yellow bone with the left arm, I named the bone one. So now if we try and grab this, it doesn't bend anymore, and this only rotates it. So, um, what we want to do is we want to, I'm just going to remove the pull target, and I'm going to go into right ortho, okay? I'm going to box select, and just select this lower half here. Um in edit mode. So we're in pose mode right now. So let's go tab. There we go. We're in edit mode now. I'm going to snap to the grid and then just rotate. So just rotate it like one square over just like that. All right. So now the entire top half except we don't want the torso doing that. So let's just select the torso then go back to three and then rotate back. There we go. So the torso is not affected anymore. All right. Uh, let's go back into pose mode which we are now in. So select armature and pull target and then bone we've already selected one so as you can see it's a bit derpy like it's kind of bent like that but that's that's fine we can uh, just we can go into edit mode never mind we can go into pose mode and then just rotate it back like that or just there we go we're still in, um, huh, okay, that's fine, just ignore that, um, then do the same thing with the other yellow bone, so armature, and I named the bone, the floating bone for this, too, since it's the right arm, and then do the same thing with the legs, so right click, we're in, uh, bone constraints, by the way, in the menu, armature, three and I screwed this up because I forgot to rotate these ones so I'm just gonna go into edit mode shift click these two go into three uh, snap and yeah that's about good alright get back into pose mode and let's redo this this is four since this is the right leg alright so we can control it now and then this would be armature 3 and it's already selected which is good alright so now we have all of that now the next thing we want to do is we want to go into edit mode and we want to start parenting things uh... so we can just finally let's save that actually so the first thing the next thing we need to do is we need to go into object mode and right click these um... cubes so right click one of them hold shift no, wait. Let's right-click this one. 
go into edit mode, then box select, and uh, make sure you have this this little thing down here. Where'd it go? I don't know where it is now. But it was like it was like a little cube. You could select it. It's not this. But I selected all of it anyways. Okay, then press W and this brings up specials, subdivide. We need to do this three times. So we've already done it once, and then twice, and then three. So now we have just enough subdivisions. This uh, will come in handy when we try and rotate and stretch our arms. So let's do this again. We need to select all sides, and then W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Do not do subdivide smooth, smooth because that'll just screw up your... Uh, thing you can try it and then do undo like but I'm I'm not going to do that. So there's 3. Let's do 3 on the head. There's a reason why we're doing 3. Uh and that comes in handy when we start doing facials. Um So box select w w w w w. w. All right. So now all of them are subdivided. So what we want to do now is we want to just, I'm just going to go into front ortho for this. Uh, we've got one selected, so hold shift, select this, 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 all the squares. And then make sure you're in object mode for this uh, to select the squares. And then up here in the object tools, you can press T to toggle the menu. Uh, join. Just click join. And then it's all completely one thing there we go so it's all one object now and we can press C and we can uh, select this it'll move everything else we still have um snap during tr transformation on uh, we still need that on actually and yeah so now the next step is we need to bind the armature to the mesh so um click the mesh first and then hold shift and then the armature then we do control P and then set parent to uh, with automatic weights right here and as you can see there's something wrong with the head right now it was exactly what I thought it was it turns out we had two cubes in the same position and when I joined all the things together it just screwed everything up so I'm selecting one of these faces and I dragged it out and uh, as you can see this is definitely a second head that uh, just got caught up with us so I'm gonna try and drag this out there we go alright so now we can just delete that um, let's go vertices and there we go the head is unaffected so let's let's go ahead and bind this again so First the mesh, hold shift, then the armature, control P, automatic weights. There is no longer a problem, never mind. It didn't work. There we go. Okay, now it's... Oh, wait, no, it's already binded. Okay, so now let's go back into pose mode. And we can... See, we... There we go. We've got a uh, control over the head and the body. And, um, what is this? This is for the point. All right, so we can uh, grab this. Oh, we're in snap mode. There we go. So as you can see, the arm is working very realistically. Look at that. This is uh, what's so special about my tutorial. I've made the arms work pretty realistically. And then this little bone right here is actually con to control the point of the elbow. So um, now uh, we need to go back into edit mode. Uh, and we've already selected the armature and we need to parent some things so um, the first thing I'm going to parent is um, this this so select the uh, shoulders and then the top of the legs and then after you do that select this and then control P keep offset alright so if we go into pose mode and select this as you can see you should have this kind of motion it's kinda silly but um, that's what we want right now and now if you click the head in edit mode and then shift and then click the top of the torso then keep offset 
now that's parented to that. Now the last thing we need to do to parent it, um, to the master bone, we need to parent everything to the master bone. Uh, so we need to right click this, all the sm small bones first. Just like that. That. There's eight small bones. And then um, we've got this, which holds the parent. And then after that, we finally click the last master bone, keep offset. And then if we go into pose mode and move this, it moves the entire thing. So, yeah. Alright, so that's the end of part two. We've finished the armature. Part three will be um, putting the arms and legs together um, and then doing facial expressions. So, uh, see you then.